going on you guys let the word you got to another one take review and this is the season finale review no the review of the season finale of the gifted which i probably would say it was i'd say one of the best episodes this season it was that lot it was that many good episodes this season i'm just gonna be honest i, I think this season was a step down from season one uh to me it, it felt real real stagnant certain characters i think i think the most compelling characters I think I liked were, was Blink and actually Rebecca. Both of those characters died. Okay. Okay, we see the Reed died at the end and I know they wanted that to hit hard, but I just I just wasn't feeling Reed throughout and uh um I mean Kate Kate's been getting on my nerves, as you guys know, the entire season. You know what I'm saying? Because like Kate's pretty much I don't think she's no longer towing the line between like good and bad. I, 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 it, it, it is completely blurred and gone. I think it's just all just jump it up. It's just pretty much whatever your mission is. That's just pretty much how things come along. Because like every, every time somebody do something in the show, it's like no matter how bad it is, they always justify it with this reason or that. Um, and, and I feel like that's what this episode, I mean, that's what it's been. But this episode, I think I liked it because, because I like to see them finally get at it. And, and I think that they, one one thing I think they did do well is like the Esme turn. Because Esme has been, it's been teased and it's built up throughout the season. You know what I'm saying? So when she turns, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Some things just don't necessarily feel earned it. And I didn't never understand Reva's powers. I thought, I thought, because my, in my mind, I'm thinking it kind of like paralyzes people in, in a sense. I didn't think, I didn't know it makes people lose control of their powers because when I'm thinking about it, how was her, how would her powers work on just a regular human? You know what I'm saying? Could they just not be able to control the, their movements or, you know what I'm saying, their actions or something like that? And I thought that's pretty much how it worked for mutants as well. It just to like, to a higher degree. But, Reed blowing himself up. Didn't see that coming. Because when he was like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this for the family. I'm like, okay, what are you going to do? Like, what can you possibly do? I'm like, like you prepared to get killed by Reva by kill, and kill her at the same time? So when he blew himself up, I was like, oh, okay. I thought, like, I honestly thought, when they started going out to his face, that mean like he was about to be able to control and he gonna throw something at her. That was just gonna like maybe some like some some lava type shit. Maybe he about to pull out a or or something. That's for my One Piece fans. Uh, but like I, I didn't understand until he blew himself up. I was like, oh, that's what you were doing. And I, I, I like how <laughs> that was the one moment. It's like, call me Thunderbird when. She but what's who John said call me Thunderbird I'm like I'm happy you calling yourself Thunderbird now and I actually like that was probably my favorite part was that fight scene where he's fighting against all the purifiers um even though I still don't see how they let him get away also why would you get that close to that man and you this man is taking bullets I'm not running up on nobody who taking bullets I'm not about to try to hit them with no bat what is y'all doing Come on, people. Uh, uh, listen, I honestly wanted him to take out Jace Turner, who we actually don't see at the end of this episode, which confused the shit out of me. Because, like, they got away. This season just left Jace Turner just there. Like, that was the last time we saw him in this episode. So I'm like, what happens with him? And I like what I like when the SMA, you know what I'm saying, gets to take over old boy. Brain, he tells like I've been leading the purifiers for the past five years, and so now. But in in a world where I think things, this, none of the stuff I think that happened this season will be re resolved next season, simply based on the fact that there's too many things that happened. You released a bunch of mutants, and some of those mutants were criminals. Some of them were savages. And, and, and oh, ooh, I don't mean call them savage. No, I mean, that's, that's right. Savages and like thugs and shit. So they're going out doing wrong. And the people who were wrongfully in prison, they're going to try to go out and do right. But it's in, the, it's in a place to where they're all, everybody's already been turned against each other. So it's, it's kind of hard. And humans are the, well, they're all humans. But like, you know what I'm saying? Humans are the, the more 
popular when, like in the world. So I'm saying they get things done more, and mutants are the minority. So you know what I'm saying it's gonna be hard for them to survive now, especially after all of the events that took place that uh, has taken place. And the end of the episode is probably what fucked me up the most when Blink come back, which I'm happy she does. But I I, I wish I could have got an explana- explanation. And I like the fact that she can now throw and open them portals. That's all I've been waiting on. I swear that's really all I've been waiting on. To, her, to hone her powers. But it seems like wherever she's going through in that portal doesn't look much better than what's going on right now. From what I heard, this is just simply from like a title I saw on the line. It said, "It's man, uh, the gift is going to take from days of future past," which I'm excited about. But another thing I'm wondering is, since Disney is about to acquire Fox, will we get a season three of the Gifted? That's the big question. I think we got, we should be asking. But overall. I enjoyed this episode. Didn't really enjoy the season as much as I wanted to. I thought it was, I thought it was honestly one of the weakest seasons out of the comic book shows I'd be watching. Uh, but it had it had bright spots. It just everything was still just too stagnant, and the characters. I I, I wasn't rooting for the characters like I like the show wanted me to. Like I wasn't rooting for Kate. I wasn't rooting for Reed. I was rooting for I was rooting for Rebecca. I was rooting for Lauren. I, I was rooting for, for Polaris and Eclipse as well. And of course, I'm rooting for Blink. It's just certain. It just like it was so up and down for me. And and plus, Jace Turner didn't get his head chopped off and burnt t- t- into a crisp, and then threw on a stake. I want the worst death for that dude possible. I'm just being honest. But uh, you guys let me know what you thought about this season down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What are your predictions for next season of uh, The Gift? Let me know. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.